Anthony, you mind if I borrow your ointment? Grandpa, did you get stuck in the closet again? Grandpa? doing Christmas dreams! <laughs> Dude, did, did you pee your pants again? That's not funny. What if you really did come back? Dude, relax. It was just my annual Halloween prank. You know I have to get you every year? Yeah, this was a prank. But what if he really does come back? This time it was you. Next time it might not be. Andrew, that's not gonna happen. We trapped him in Christopher's dreams. He's out of our hair. Too soon, dude. Give me that. I deserve that. What? No, it's just me. Oh, Dad. You want to get your revenge on Anthony? Yeah, I tried last year, but all Anthony said was, Oh, clogging my toilet is not a prank. Andrew, get out of my house. You're going to have him do a scary ritual, and I'm going to pop out and make him poop his pants. Okay, but what do I do? Just have him repeat scary Uncle Steve three times in the mirror. Scary Uncle Steve? What's so scary about Uncle Steve? It's not a real ritual, Andrew. Just make up some scary story about some Uncle Steve. Trust me, I got a story about scary Uncle Steve. <sighs> Whatever. Do you have a question? Yes, um, can me and Anthony hold hands? Why would you do that? <laughs> We're dating now. <sighs> it's about time my son got a date. Time for me to hold Anthony's hand. I mean, get revenge and hold his hand. Hey Anthony, you wanna do a fun couple thing? Did you just say couple? No, I said best pal thing. Not really. Come on dude, I wanna summon Scary Uncle Steve for Halloween. Scary Uncle Steve? Dude, you've never heard of Scary Uncle Steve? The urban legend? The whole internet's going crazy over him. Huh, let me just look it up. No, 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 I'll, I'll just tell you. Just listen to me, I'll tell you about it. Okay, all right. I don't know why you're getting so excited. Legend has it that one Thanksgiving, Scary Uncle Steve ate an entire Thanksgiving turkey by himself and turned into half a turkey. That doesn't sound real. Oh, but it is. And if you say his name three times in front of the mirror with the lights off, holding hands, then he'll be summoned. Andrew, what's going on? You never want to do these scary things. Oh, come on, it's Halloween. Live a little. You know what? Because I want to prove to you that none of these things are even real, I'll do it. He fell for it. What was that? What? I said, let's go in the mirror. Stupid. Okay, first, hold my hand. Do we have to hold hands? Yes. Won't work unless you hold my hand. W what if you're doing it alone? Dude, just hold my hand! <laughs> I'm not doing this. Oh, come on. Fine. Okay, all you gotta do is say Scary Uncle Steve three times. Do you want to say it or you want me to? Let's say it together. Okay, fine. Ready? Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. Scary <sighs> Uncle Steve. Scary Uncle Steve. Scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> See? Nothing happened. Well, that's what you think! <laughs> you didn't tell me that this ritual is supposed to summon Pennywise! <laughs> Dude! That's your dad! I got you so good! Gobble, gobble, gobble! No, that's my dad. Hmm. Yeah, that is your dad. I have no idea who that is. Really, dude? I've been haunting your nightmares for like... At least three weeks now. And I've known you for like, your whole life. Is that Barry Miles? What? Dude, that's Pennywise! Are you sure? He's gone. Hold on a second. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Would you stop turning that light on? His weakness is the light. If we turn all the lights on in the house, he can't attack us. Dude, that's a great idea. Let's go. <laughs> that's it? Yep. We turn all the lights on, and now we're just safe? Well, you put it that way. Makes it seem kind of stupid, huh? Whew! That was a close one! I just finished turning off all the lights in the house! Our electric bill is too high! On! They need to stay off! They need to be on! Off! On! I'm not getting in trouble for this! I want them on! I want them off! On! I hit the light! Off! off. Wait! Nope! On! Grandpa, turn the light back on! That's funny. The switch isn't working. We must have blew a fuse. What do you mean we blew a fuse? We must have fought over the lights too much. If you want to fix it, you gotta go into the circuit breaker in the scary garage. You do it! No, I got what I wanted. Grandpa out.
Andrew, yeah? we need to fix that fuse before Pennywise finds us. All right, stay back. You know how to use this? No, just in case I explode it. That's actually kind of thoughtful. <laughs> Andrew, you have to open it. Oh, I know. I'm just making a little noise to try and scare him away. Would you hurry up? Pennywise is gonna be here any second. It doesn't help that I can't read. Then just flip a switch or something. I don't think it did anything. No, did all the little lights go out? You must be so scared of me. All the lights might be out, but you're forgetting about one little thing. He is? Yeah. I got a flashlight! Are you even shining it on me? Because that's not very bright. We should have known that wasn't going to be bright enough to work. I told you we should have put AA batteries on the shopping list. Well, yeah, but he's forgetting about one other thing. What? Your other flashlight? No. <gasps> you just hit a demonic clown in the face with a flashlight! Yeah, dude! That was awesome! Let's go! <laughs> what do we do? The power's out. Uh, big brownies! What? Why would we do that? I'm starving! <sighs> trick or treat! Dude, it's just a trick or treater! What? Well, Andrew, you expect me to believe that there's a trick or treater outside of my bedroom door? Alright, that is a little weird. Hold the door! Oh, no! Let me in! Let me in! The trigger's feisty! It's not a trick-or-treater! Oh, I really gave myself a headache. Oh, I gotta go take some Advil. I think it stopped. Let's go find another spot to hide until the power comes back on. <laughs> Never find us here. Really? Because it sounds like he's right behind the other couch. It does kind of sound like that. Pass me the bread. The bread? Yeah, the bread I keep behind your couch just in case you get hungry. You leave bread behind my couch? I leave food all over your house, just in case. Ready? We'll hit them on three. Okay. One, One, two, two three. three. <gasps> Dad? Dad? Why'd you hit me in the face? Did you find out it was me the whole time? What? Found out what was you the whole time? The fact that there's a scary clown chasing you around the house? Dad, how is that your fault? First off, I'm not your dad. And second, I was just trying to get back at Grandpa. You see, I figured out that Grandpa knew how to travel into people's dreams, and he was giving me nightmares every night. So I made a deal with Pennywise to go into Andrew's dreams and scare him. I knew that eventually Andrew would ask Grandpa for his help, and I planned it so that Grandpa would lose Bingo and get trapped inside of Andrew's dreams forever. That was supposed to keep Grandpa away from going into my dreams so I could get some sleep, and it worked for a while until you guys decided to free him again. So I had to free Pennywise from Christopher's dreams so he can get rid of Grandpa for me. And the only way I knew how to do that was to get you guys to perform the scary Uncle Steve ritual. And like idiots, you did. Dad, you told me that ritual was fake. If I told you it was gonna free Pennywise, you wouldn't have done it. So let me get this straight. You released a creepy demonic clown into the world because you wanted some nap time. Yep. That is a horrible reason. What? I was tired and cranky. You owe Anthony new sheets and me new pants. I need new sheets? Sorry. I see you told them our plan. <gasps> they pried it out of me. Mm, no, they didn't. You kind of just told them everything. I was standing right here. Come on, Uncle Steve. Cut me some slack. Uncle Steve? I have an Uncle Steve. Yeah, that's your Uncle Steve. You know, the clown. I love clowns. My uncle was a clown. Get all close to Uncle Pennywise and I'll hand you the bag. I got a story about scary Uncle Steve. And I've known you for like, your whole life. Uncle Steve, why are you trying to eat me? Every Thanksgiving, you eat all the turkey before I even get the chance to have any. I'm so sick of it! And the only two things I eat are humans and Thanksgiving turkey. If I can't eat one, I eat the other. And that was part of our deal. I get rid of Grandpa for Larry, then I'm allowed to eat you. But you keep running away! Well, why don't I just make it up to you and we have a Thanksgiving turkey? What? what? How do we do that? It's not even Thanksgiving. Larry, you have any turkey? Yeah, I got the last one at the supermarket. So if we do that, can you promise not to eat us and you can come back next year for Thanksgiving turkey? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I guess I can't complain with that, right? What is even going on right now? How is any of this a real thing? Dude, stop. I haven't seen my Uncle Steve in years. Ever since Aunt Teresa divorced him, he's not allowed over Thanksgiving. Can you tell Teresa that I still love her? Oh, and also tell her that being a clown is a real occupation. We'll work on that. Andrew? How did you not realize that that was your uncle the whole time? He's always standing in the dark! You know when the lights are on, I get headaches. Now let's all go have that turkey. The turkey.
turkey is ready. Time for a family dinner. Andrew, you're not a part of our family. But we'll have a family one day. I'm so excited. You're excited about us starting a family too? No, for the turkey. You are so dumb. Dad, what happened to the turkey? <gasps> yeah, what happened to the turkey? Did you? Now what are we gonna do? You ate our only turkey. No, oh, it's like Thanksgiving all over again. This is why I'm going to eat you. I've got a turkey. Is that poof? The eater of foods? Hey, Penny Boy, want some? Uh, no, 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 stay away, stay away. No, seriously, you can have some. Just take it from my hand. Uh, no, actually, I think I've got to go. I hear my mom calling me from the sewer. No, wait. Go, cool. stay back. Back, boy, down, bad boy. I'm gonna forgive you. This is really embarrassing. I'm the eater of worlds and I can't even open a locked door. Look, this isn't the last they've seen of me. Whew. So I guess that's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Toph saved the day once again. He's a hero. I can't believe he's your uncle. Yep. <laughs> My scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> oh man, scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> Andrew, it's not that funny. Scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> Wait, Andrew. <laughs> scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> Uh, Andrew, do you realize what you're doing? Oh man, scary Uncle Steve. <laughs> yep, that is funny. Scary Uncle Steve. Hey, how's your Aunt Teresa? I'll go get Toph. Hey, what's up you guys? Thank you so much for watching. Me and Andrew had so much fun making this Pennywise series, so I have a question for you guys. Do you guys wanna see some more series similar to this one instead of just one-off comedy skits here and there? If that's something you'd wanna see, give this video a like and leave a comment letting us know. We would love to do more things similar to this. If you wanna see some bloopers and behind the scenes for this video, you can click the link in the description down below or the link on screen at the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon and click that little notification bell button down below. You might not be notified when we post new videos if you don't click that little bell. Also follow us on Instagram at culture35. We love interacting with you guys over there. That's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you for all the support on this Pennywise series. Me and Andrew loved making it and I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it. We will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. <laughs>